Villanova taking on Michigan in the NCAA tournament. We've waited nearly a week for this, right? It feels like an, an eternity for me. <laughs> We're all set for a Sweet 16 showdown now. NBC 10's Miguel Martinez Vi live for us on campus this morning, where a huge watch party will be rocking tonight. Good morning, Miguel. Hey, good morning, Keith. I can hear the excitement coming from you, and I'm sure that's how a lot of students and Villanova fans over here are feeling as well. Yeah, there's a big watch party. So obviously, Villanova back in the Sweet 16. This is actually the third time in the last four tournaments that they make it to this level in March Madness. They're taking on U of M, the University of Michigan, over in San Antonio. So it's going to be a game to watch. Now, here's some video of the boys uh, in their send-off from campus. This is the eighth time Villanova makes it to the Sweet 16 under coach Jay Wright. They're four wins away from capturing their third national championship in the last six years. Now, last time they won it all was actually back in 2018 when they coincidentally played and beat the Michigan Wolverines in San Antonio. So a little bit of deja vu there. That must be a good sign. Still, the team's keeping their head on straight. They've been here before, and they're hoping that works to their advantage to move to the next round. Probably a matter of semantics, but I don't know if you feel looser, but you feel like, okay, what we do works, right? Like, let's, let's stick to what we do. When you start the tournament, you don't know, hey, are the things that we did all year, are they going to work, you know? I think that's the difference when you get to the second weekend. Now, students are going to be gathering over at the Villanova room in the Connolly Center. Tip-off is at 7.30, so you know it's going to be an exciting night here on campus. Of course, whoever wins today moves on to the lead eight. I'll send it back to you. I'm Miguel Martinez Valle, NBC 10. Now, Miguel, you informed me or at least reminded me that there are some Michigan alumni that are down in our newsroom, right? Got to have some. Uh... Yeah, it could be a little awkward around uh, the <laughs> CTC today. I'm just saying, I know we know where you stand. So just be on the lookout for any blue. It might be the wrong kind of blue. This is very true, Miguel. All right, we'll see. 7.30 tonight. Maybe we'll stay awake for it. Oof. It'll be a, a rough morning tomorrow if we do. <laughs> Regardless, thank you, Miguel.